Quiet! My program's on! Tonight, on the Mel Dorado Show, his story gripped the world. Oil billionaire Miles Axelrod, in an attempt to become the first car to circumnavigate the globe without GPS, ironically ran out of gas and found himself trapped in the wild. Feared dead, he emerged 36 days later. Running out of fuel, he distilled himself from the natural elements. Since then, he sold his oil fortune, converted himself from a gas guzzler into an electric car, and has devoted his life to finding a renewable, clean burning fuel. Now he claims to have done it with his all in all. And to show the world what his new super fuel can do, he's created a racing competition like no other, inviting the greatest champions from around the globe to battle in the first ever World Grand Prix. Welcome, Sir Miles Axelrod. Thank you, Mel. It is very, very good to be here. Now listen to me, big oil. It costs a fortune. Pollution is getting worse. I mean, come on, it's a fossil fuel. Fossil, as in dead dinosaurs. And we all know what happened to them. Alternative energy is the future. Nobody will ever go back to gasoline again. What happened to the dinosaurs now? And on satellite, a World Grand Prix competitor and one of the fastest cars in the world, Francesco Bernoulli. It is an honor, Signore Dorado, for you. Miles, why not invite Lightning McQueen? Of huh? course we what? invited him, but apparently after his very long racing season, he is taking some time off to rest. The Lightning McQueen would not have a chance against Francesco. Huh. I can go over 300 kilometers an hour. In miles, that is like, uh, it's way faster than me queen. Let's go to the phones. Baltimore, Maryland, you're on the air. Am I on? Hello? You're on. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead, caller. Hello? Let's go to Radiator Springs. You're on, caller. Yeah, that Italian fella you got on there can't talk that way about Lightning McQueen. He's the bestest race car in the whole wide world. Uh-oh. 